now we are going to check another uh, uh, transaction code which is very useful is the purchase order analysis okay so here what we can do is you can just search the general evaluation based on vendor numbers the, you will get all the purchase or document here you'll get the material group the materials and let's see whether there is other fields that can be added okay so here you can have a different header item view which is the header and the item view then we can see the delivery scheduling view so this is pretty nice and then you have another view which is the purchase order history view i think i like this purchase order history view it's really nice you can get all the purchase order history at one go and here if you notice if i double click on each i it will take me to the transaction code i think no it doesn't uh well let's see the 45 number probably takes me when it when i double click and it takes some time that means it's uh it's getting into that transaction code okay and here suppose i change this and i go to the header item and if i click on purchase order it takes me to the purchase order that's nice uh, if I click on the material, it takes me to the material. What more you need? That's pretty nice. That's slick. And it has all the details. And if I go and change the layout, let me see whether it has more records. So, you have purchased document category. You have the currency and everything you can think of. So, it's pretty nice. I really like this report because from here you can get three different views the purchase order history view is really interesting because it can take me the only i think the only drawback is if there was a hot spot here but that can be you know tweaked later on or something you can export it now let's see in the other ones does the hot spot really works i think the vendor hot spot probably works yeah so this hotspot is working so this is very very interesting where you can see a large chunk of purchase order history transaction then you have this view of the purchase header item delivery schedules and the purchase order item so this is this is this is a hidden treasure that sap has you know and through this uh, tutorial you're getting all these things so use this generously and uh, don't create custom T code for all these things. ME80FN is the transaction that you are going to use.